What's going on guys? So today we received this product. It's um you can get it from Amazon. It's it's kind of like a kick ash basket, I think that's what you call it for the Kamado Joe. But this one is from Amazon and it came out to like 50 bucks or something like that. I don't know. But here it is. Came with this little booklet right over here. Rotisserie grill basket. It's actually pretty heavy, man. I'm hoping these little handles, they don't disturb the, the divide and conquer system. I'm hoping not. So, it's already late in the evening. UPS came a little bit late. But um, we'll go ahead and install it. And we'll do a little review and go from there. But just want to open it up. Yeah, man, this thing's solid. All right, guys. We'll see you here in a bit. Alrighty, gents. So we have it installed. I removed the inside of it. Um, I'm following the advice of Smoking Dad Barbecue. Basically, he removed all that stuff so it, you can maximize the amount of airflow. But look at this. And check it out. It does not hit the divide and conquer. In fact, let's see if we can go ahead and do this. Sorry, I only got one hand. Let's see. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Look at that. And it's still there. Outstanding. So the divide and conquer system still is functional. There's plenty of space in here. The only thing is, if you, I, if I, I mean, I guess if you want for the Kamado Joe to not stay hot all the time after you're done with the cook, you would have to remove the divide and conquer in order to remove this. Yeah, you can't remove it like that. No, you can't remove it. Now, you don't have to remove the inside. You don't. I just chose to, to do it so we can mi maximize the airflow in there. All right, guys. Um, let me see. See, uh, see, we use wood around here. Like, we yeah, actually real wood around here. That was just some that uh, was left over from a small cook. But, I mean, hell, it's fantastic. All right, so I'll go ahead and test it out in the near future and see how it goes. We'll see you guys later.